Good morning. Good morning. It's a good morning today, isn't it? Yeah. It's an exciting day. I've got coffee. Well, actually, it's not morning. It's afternoon, actually. Um, and yeah, we've got coffee. We've just stopped off at Starbucks. Didn't bring our reusable mugs. No, they're in the cupboard. They're in the cupboard. We've put back them away since we had the kitchen done. Anyway, today is the day that we go and pick up our puppy. Yep. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's ready for him at home. It's been a long journey. We've been waiting for him a while. Mm -hmm. And now he's ready and we can go and get him. Uh, it's been a secret. Obviously, I've not said anything. Um, we've got our little thing set up in the back for him. I'll be sitting in the back on the way home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just need to go and pick him up now so yeah welcome to today's vlog it's going to be picking up our little puppy and the few days that follow afterwards so yeah i hope you enjoy should we go let's go let's go let's go get our puppy Charlie? Is it bedtime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's so chilled. It's unreal. Let's just hope he's chilled tonight. I really hope so. <laughs> I think he might be. Well, good morning. Um, it's the next day. It's about five o'clock in the morning and I'm the one that woke up because I was worried. Not Charlie. Charlie, Charlie doesn't care. Charlie's Charlie's good. He's Teddy here. Charlie is good. He's such a good boy. Not a peep. Not a peep from him last night. He went straight into his crate and went to sleep. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. He's got the tail wagging. Whether it was a fluke, time will tell. He just seems to have settled in, in the space of like 12 hours, a bit more. It's like, it's like he knows. He's comfy. He's comfy. I love him so much. He's got an appointment with the vets in a minute. I'm going to the vets. Dun 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 be all right so far he has been good as gold whether that will come round and bite us in the bum i don't know but so far he's been an absolute dream an absolute dream but yeah we're gonna go to the vets uh, in a minute and take him for 
his initial checkup, like his first appointment. We're going to check him over, see if he's all okay, and then we're going to book in for his last jabs, um, which he can have any time now. And then once he's had those, we can then like start taking him out, I guess. I guess in the next week or so. I guess the vet will tell us um, when we get there. But yeah, need to make sure you have a wee wee though before we go, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> he's like no we're not going to the vet we're not going to the vet I'm going to sit here and play with my teddy we're still not allowed in the vets because of covid and everything so they're doing like the appointments outside in the car and then they take your pet into the vets um but yeah they're going to do his jabs today as well so hopefully we can get him all outside for walkies as soon as possible within the next we well, said week wasn't it after week, think, yeah. after his next jab so awesome. yeah i feel really like sad though when, when he took him it was like oh <laughs> <laughs> it's like dropping off your, ba your baby at the doctor's and leaving them. <laughs> We're all home now. He's had his injection and he's in his bed. It's the first time he's used the bed in here actually. Um, he's, he's just, he's so tiny in it though. He loves his teddy bear as well. It's his favourite thing. So he is 2.1 kilos, which is a good weight for his age. The vet's really pleased with him. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna, just gonna chill, aren't we? Just gonna chill. And I've put Disney Plus on. So I think we're gonna watch a Christmas film. Aren't we, Charlie? <laughs> so we had some crying last night, didn't we? didn't we oh I looked I look dead um we had some crying it seemed to be every hour he'd have a cry I'm talking about you he'd have a cry and then he'd settle himself and then I think he'd like settle himself go to sleep and then wake up and then realize that we weren't there have another little cry and then you'd settle yourself again wouldn't you hmm So today is a very chewy day. He wants to chew everything. He's got lots of toys though. This one is his favourite, this little bear. But yeah, he's, he seems to want to chew a lot of things today. He's got a lot more confidence today as well. I think he's comfortable. <laughs> Do you know what the trouble is? Oh, you are such a time waster. It is the time. It's half past 11. I haven't even had a shower or got dressed yet because I'm just staring. And the reality is puppies sleep for 15 to 20 hours a day. I can't stare at you for 15 to 20 hours a day, can I? Can I? Probably. I do need to sort this out though. Um, and then plan for today is we need to get on with the pad training. Like really crack on with the pad training. Um, I'm going to put him in his little harness today. And give him a little bath, like a tiny little bath, like wipe his like belly and his bits and stuff, which he's going to be thrilled about, I know. Oh, and we're also going to introduce him to the hoover today. I want to make sure he is around 
lots of sounds and gets used to them very quickly so big day today day three big day <laughs> Charlie, you look so cute. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get the small. I've got the extra small one, yeah? Yeah, on. you look so cute in your harness. What's this, Charlie? Is this your garden? Yeah, you're not going on the ground yet, then, eh? <laughs> it's a bit wet, isn't it? It's a bit wet today. Is that, ooh. No. Wagging his tail. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning. <laughs> um, we're tired. I think my face says it all. Actually, I've got really dry skin. Really dry skin. Um, I've just had a shower. <laughs> Charlie is asleep uh, in his crate and um yeah he's very he's very content in there today we actually moved the crate from the kitchen because it was it was in the kitchen um and very quickly we discovered that it wasn't really working in the kitchen like a day <laughs> um it's just not a very inviting place and we don't spend time in there like playing or chilling out it's in the living room that he's learnt to just chill out and go into his bed and so yeah we've moved the crate into the living room so he knows that that's his safe space his positive space we are making sure that we play with him near the crate uh, his toys are all in there and um, yeah right now he is napping in there which is great um, and so yeah last night he he was much better last night having the crate in the living room rather than the kitchen so lesson number one learned already uh, so hopefully long may it continue but last night i slept on the sofa so i was just near him whenever he whimpered i just sort of soothed and like was like much like a baby just like shh, 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 and he just he went back to sleep so hopefully hopefully we can break the whimpering at night and all that kind of stuff relatively quickly i mean who who knows how long it's going to take it will take as long as it takes um but yeah i'm a bit <laughs> i'm a bit tired today because you know it's not that comfy sleeping on the sofa i'd much rather be in my own bed but this this is this this comes with the territory i you know will be on the sofa probably many more times which is fine so long as he's content and he's happy that's the main thing and we get him into a routine uh, that's what we want we want routine stability positive like positive place for him to go and he knows that it's a good place uh, we've been putting treats in there for him as well so yeah i mean i'm hoping we're doing all the right all the right things i keep looking at everything online the trouble is like obviously we had harvey from a puppy but i struggle to remember what we did with harvey it was 16 years ago um so yeah it's like relearning stuff all over again but so far so good we seem to be doing all the right things and if we feel it's not right then we're changing it until it works so yeah anyway we didn't get round to giving him a wash yesterday we it was more about getting him to play learn the crate was a good safe space we took him outside the hoover as well <laughs> so i think that was more than enough for his little brain yesterday so today today we're going to give him a little wash um and then just do our normal thing just like hoover again just get him used to so many things
has just had his first little wash. <laughs> it's like he's washing his teddy now. His first little wash and a brush. Yes, he had a little brush. He was absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Didn't play up or anything. I think he quite enjoyed it. So these, these um, like teething toys have been so good. Don't chew your puppy pad. Um, have been so good for when he's like nipping because obviously he's teething. Um, and so these have been so good. You can also put these in the freezer. I haven't done that yet, but we're very quick to like detract. So when he's like trying to nip your fingers, we like put a toy in or oh, his puppy pad. <laughs> Don't chew your puppy pad. Chew this. Chew this. I think he's comfortable in his crate now. Are you so sleepy, Charlie? <laughs> Are you so sleepy? Well, we have to let you out. We have to let you out. Come on then. Come on. Out we go. He's got the hiccups. Oh, you got the hiccups, Charlie. Hey, you got the hiccups. Good morning. Um, actually, just let me turn the telly down so you can actually hear me. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm really sorry for like 80% of this vlog you're seeing this because uh, we're doing the chatting in the early morning. So it is um, half past seven. We're going to go and do your breakfast in a minute, aren't we, Charlie? So Charlie's just here in between my legs. You can't go back to sleep, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna go and do his breakfast. It is just after seven o'clock and um, he had a relatively good night last night. Um, slept on the sofa again, just so, you know, he knows that we're in the room, he's safe. And uh, he woke up a couple of times, but that's because he needed to go to the toilet. So we let him out, he did his business and then he went back into bed. He's been so good. Have you been so good, Charlie? He's not listening to me, he's going back to sleep. We need to wake him back up. We've been very strict at taking him out every hour whilst you're awake. And then at night time, he wakes up a couple of times as a whinge. And then we take him outside. So he's very quickly getting used to going to the toilet outside. Because uh, he's so clever. Are you so clever? Yeah. Um. So yes, yeah, so a long way to continue. It's going to be a long road. Um, we're gonna have some accidents along the way and uh, he's like I think with the little tinkles it's because he gets so excited and then we can't catch it quick enough but uh, for the most part he's been so so good um, and hopefully we can um, get the sleeping down but that's gonna take a little bit of time we know that uh, he's feeding really well he's learning really well he's playing really well he's sleeping really well but like I say, we take him out religiously every hour in the garden. So he gets woken up. So I think he gets really tired again because he's like, oh, you've woke me up. <laughs> you can't snuggle back up. You can't snuggle back up. Anyway, I'm going to go and do his breakfast and then lay him out for a wee. And then we'll have a little bit of playtime. Won't we? <laughs> Are you so tired still? Are you so tired? Anyway, um, I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you've enjoyed an insight into the first, first few days of having Charlie. He's settled in. Settled in so well. Haven't you? You're giving me side eye. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and do his breakfast, but... um. I'm sure you can catch up with all of the shenanigans on my vlogs. Um, yeah, it's going to be a journey, but it's going to be a fun one. Isn't it? Isn't it? Right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye, Charlie. Say bye, Charlie. Come on, let's go and get your breakfast. <laughs>